Please welcome this week's special guest, Justin. <laughs> so, Aston, what is Justin to you? This is Justin, and once I did a backflip in a supermarket and landed in his trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that one, Aston. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, how do you know Justin? This is Justin, he is my neighbour and he has had a parcel in my hall for the last seven months and is here tonight because I want him to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, David, what is your relationship with Justin? This is Justin, he tried to recruit me to his underground ping-pong club <laughs> <laughs> after, <laughs> after being wowed by my skills with the bat. <laughs> So, please, team, where to begin? OK, so uh, we know you can do the backflip, Aston. I've seen that in action, so that's mm -hmm. true. However, there's a little bit of the story I'm doubting. OK. <laughs> you flipped and you landed in his shopping trolley. Yeah. So the big question is, was that deliberate or was it an accident when you were shopping? An utter accident. Oh, come on! I promise you that. <laughs> where was this? In... Oh, was we Asda? And whereabouts in the country was this? Peterborough. In my hometown, yeah, yeah. So I was with You're my mum. It was literally like not long after myself and the boys did the X Factor, and it was just that kind of crazy time when it's a bit like, okay, everyone. That like, kind of crazy time where you think I'll carry on shopping in Asda in Peterborough. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be doing backflips just casually in a supermarket? I mean, that's the bizarre bit, isn't mm. it? Basically, some guy and his daughter just, oh, would you do it? Would you do it? Oh, she's a big fan. And I was just like, I mean, I'm in a supermarket. It's... Were you on your own? Oh, no, it was with my mum. To my knowledge, there are two parts of a backflip. The second part is doing the backflip. The first part is having a quick look behind you to check there isn't a trolley or something <laughs> like that. Then. Exactly. That can't, that's not part of the backflip, is it? You can't say there's two parts of a backflip, the second part is doing the backflip. <laughs> <laughs> the is, you could say that about anything. There's two parts of writing a symphony, the second part is writing a symphony, the first part is the day before you write a symphony. <laughs> to believe that an experienced backflipper wouldn't at some point have learnt to just have a quick... It's on... It's actually on YouTube. It's on YouTube? You can check it, yeah. I can check it? Yeah. Well, then, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is one of the easiest rounds we've ever had. <laughs> I'm just checking it now, Aston. Uh, we, we'll use that for proof later. It would slightly be not in the spirit of the game, Lee, to... to... But also, it's not going to work on my hand, is it? That's not... <laughs> <laughs> you see? Better actor than you thought, Rob. <laughs> When you do a backflip, you know, you don't normally fly in the air afterwards and, and land higher up. You just kind of land on the same plane. Yeah. If you were deliberately trying to backflip into yes. a trolley, I yeah. would say that could be done. But not by accident, because, oh, my goodness, it could have... But then again, he's only a little fella, isn't he? He's only little. I bet he flipped and he landed right in that little baby seat. <laughs> <laughs> and then off he went and started his life with a new family. <laughs> are, you, are you claiming that you landed on your feet? Yeah. You oh, landed you on your you feet looked, you landed, in the trolley. And you stayed stood up? Of course. Was this man pushing it at the time? <laughs> no, it was there. Did he think you were a free me. gift with the cornflakes? <laughs> <laughs> Did you land facing him or facing away? I'll tell you what, I'll show you. I'll no, show don't, you. don't, I'm don't. Gonna do it. I'm going to do it, just oh, to prove you. Right? Listen. Aston, darling, so don't do anything <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to be do careful. Let's no, just know, because no. I'm going to show you... And just I wish I brought well. it up, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Will you be Please here? don't do it. No! Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'll be here. Oh! Oh, so you did! Right. Wow! I am sorry, I take back everything I've said. <laughs> However, you're still lying. <laughs> Well, what about Olivia? OK. Oh, I've forgotten what she said. Olivia's got a package in her hallway that she's had for seven months that he should have collected from her, and it's... I'm quite annoyed by that already. <laughs> when you say neighbour, you mean actual neighbour or Not communal... Not my immediate neighbour on either side, but he's three down the road. OK. And so he wasn't in and the package came to you with a little yeah. card or whatever posted to him to say where it was. Have you still got it? Yeah. I Well, it's here in my dressing room. <laughs> Why has it been seven months? I don't know. I know he's a wildlife photographer, so he probably travels a lot. And, and when I've taken it to him, he hasn't been there, so I've left a note. It's still here. 
And, and, and then and he's missed me and left a note going, I came, but it wasn't there. And in the whole seven months, has he ever left a note to say sorry, tried to come? Oh, yes, three. Let, what did the note say? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Uh, sorry about the package. I did try, but you weren't in. The question is this. What is in that <laughs> package? I, oh. I haven't opened it, but it's, it's an irritating shape because... Uh, you can't get the pushchair through the door f hole. You have to fold down the pushchair to get past it. What? How so big it's is long it? and thin, and I think it might be, I don't know, a blind or a, you know, curtain rail. What's the girth? <laughs> <laughs> is it like that sort of girth? There's a lot of packaging around it. So he can't get through the, his letterbox. You haven't, tr you haven't Oh, no, no. So you have to, that's the whole point. Well, that's been so irritating. We have to ring the doorbell. He's not there. Okay. Um... <laughs> And she said it's really irritating. She sort of looked at him apologetically as if to say, I didn't mean to call you here on telly to say you're an irritating name. <laughs> but she is a professional actress. I know. So, I mean, she could just be lying. That's very good. Though. So you've brought it in tonight. You've brought yeah, it in. That's, I thought this would be an extreme... You're... Is this the yes, only reason fair. you've come on the show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's to give back a parcel. <laughs> What about David and the table tennis? Oh, we're actually going through with all that, are we? <laughs> <laughs> David, remind us of your supposition. Uh, he tried to recruit me for his underground ping-pong club <laughs> because he was impressed by my skills with the bat. Can I just check, when you say underground, do you mean underground literally, it's underground, or do you mean it's, it's, a, bit, uh, it's a bit devious? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there was any illegality, but it was, uh, a, to a certain extent, subterranean. It was in a, in a sort of basement. In, in his basement? No, in the basement of an advertising agency. Are you good at table tennis? I'm, I'm a bit good at table tennis. Not For... very good, this, but I'm better to the... than you'd expect me to be. And how did this man see you play table tennis? Well, I, I played it there at the basement. How, does he, how do you know him? He's a friend. I know him in my life. He works in, in the media. To be absolutely clear what you're saying, apart from me and Rob, mm. you have another friend. <laughs> yeah. mm. you, you said, David, in your, in your statement, he was wowed yes. by your table tennis. Yeah. I've seen you play table tennis, but I don't picture you as being particularly adept at any sport. <laughs> you don't mind me saying that? Oh, don't I? OK. <laughs> Good to know, cos I, I was wondering what I was experiencing. But it... <laughs> Talk me through your serve. T -t -t I, well, I sort of go... <laughs> oh, that's no, fair, no, that's no. a bit bog standard. Don't, you, don't, you don't do... No. No, cos I like to keep my tongue in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, ready? <laughs> ready? Okay. Did... I played it to your forehand, you idiot. Well, I couldn't <laughs> see the ball's invisible. <laughs> because you're not an actor of sufficient imagination, are you? <laughs> if you were a better actor, Rob, you'd know which side that you serve. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to serve to you, David? <laughs> well, don't stop playing with him. <laughs> So there you were, playing table tennis in this underground car park, and no. what you did wowed him enough to say, please join our team. Um, no, well, firstly, he'd invited me to see the club. Yeah. So I, I hadn't just turned up and he saw me across a crowded underground... Thing I'm not there. suggesting romance was involved. <laughs> yeah. Seeing people across a crowded area doesn't mean there's romance involved. Typically, the expression, I saw him or her... Across a, a crowded, crowded room, room infers romance. It implies. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need an answer. So, Lee's team is Justin, Aston's shocked shopper, Olivia's neglectful neighbour, or is he David's ping pong pal? I think anyone that's prepared to stand there that long while all this is going on yeah. is a wildlife photographer. Or one of the others, and he's been told to stand there for that <laughs> long. <laughs> if what you're saying there is true, Michaela, then we've had a wildlife photographer on every single episode. <laughs> Do you know what he doesn't look like? 
A he shops. man who shops at Asda. <laughs> he has got Waitrose written all over his face. <laughs> hasn't he? I think Olivia's story is very believable. Mm. The apologetic look when she described him as an irritant is either the greatest piece of acting of my generation <laughs> or a typically British response of, I've got my neighbour on telly and told the whole country how annoying it is. <laughs> I'm torn, but I'll go with Olivia then. You think it's Olivia? Right. Justin, would you please reveal your true identity? Uh, I'm Justin and I tried to recruit David for my underground ping pong club. Justin is David's ping pong pal. Thank you very much, Justin.